Hey everyone, I have a pretty highly requested video today where I'm going to go over how to set up uh, Microsoft Office 365 or Outlook accounts so that you can start using them for cold emailing. We are going to set up accounts manually and then we're going to set up accounts uh, with as much automation as possible. And so you're looking at the automation here uh, candidly so that I can get a thumbnail. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with setting them up manually so you know the basics and then we can move uh, to the automated way. And so the first thing that you need to do is you need to buy a domain. And so we have this domain right here and we have these DNS settings and everything. And so the first thing that we're going to do is now that we have the domain, we're looking at the DNS settings. Uh, we're going to go to our Microsoft account and this is our admin panel. And I'm just going to click on admin and then we'll see all of this. And the first thing I'm going to type in is I'm just going to go to domains settings and then go to domains and we're going to click add domain. And so then we're going to take the domain we want to add and we are going to put it in here and we're going to click use this domain name. Now I buy everything through GoDaddy. And so uh, they have their own domain verification inside of GoDaddy. So we're going to do that. So we're going to hit verify, click on all of this good stuff. So now there's a couple of things going on on the back end where the SPIF record is being set up uh, and the MX records are being set up. So we're going to hit continue. Great, so the MX record, to know that this is coming from Outlook is being set up, and then the uh, SPIF record is being set up. So we're gonna hit add DNS records. We'll hit connect again on here. And so now we are done. And so now we have added our domain now we need to uh, add a user. And so we're just gonna click over here. I didn't see my video, great. So, uh, hold on, let me get something. So now we can add a user. And so we're just gonna come in and let's see, add our user and that'll be the display name. And then that'll be our username for this one. And then we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use the Salesflare one. And then we're gonna automatically create a password. That's totally fine. Uh, require them because I don't want to send password and email. Yep, great. Now we're gonna hit next. We just finished setting up that user. And so now what we need to do is we finished setting up that user. We just clicked through everything. I thought there was gonna be passwords, so I paused the video. And now we're gonna do the DKIM settings. And so we're gonna to go to DKIM. There we go. It's just loading, sorry about that. And so we're gonna go to try Salesflare CRM, right? And so we're gonna click on this. No, DA, can I, no DKM keys, yes, I'm aware of that. So we're gonna create DKM keys. And this is where we're gonna go back to GoDaddy. Okay, so we have all of this information. Now we're gonna go back to GoDaddy. So selector one domain key, and then we're gonna do selector one domain key. So now we're gonna to go to our DNS records and we're gonna have a new record. Pretty sure it's a CNAME record. Yeah, it's a CNAME record. So we're gonna hit, uh, I think we, yep, that. And so we put selector one domain key and then the value over here. And then we're going to hit add more records. And now we're going to do the second one. And so it's just selector two domain key and then that. And so then we're going to do selector two domain key. And then we're going to do this. Now we have more records to add. So this is a C name. And we are also going to add a TXT, which uh, honestly, I'm not sure what TXT stands for, but we're just going to add a DMARC while we're at it. So we'll do the DMARC policy right now and then we always use custom tracking so we are going to set up our custom tracking domain oh no it's a c name we're going to set up our custom tracking right now as well and we'll hit save all records oh, whoops totally forgot about that great and so now we're updating the dns settings and so now we've taken care of the whole dns setting where we now have 
Um, the DKIM setup, the DMARC, the SPIF, the MX records, everything's taken care of, and we have the open tracking. The last thing that we need to do in order to get this ready is we just need to set up forwarding, where we're just going to hit add forwarding. We're going to just put salesflare.com, permanent 301 redirect. And then now anytime anybody looks out, looks up try out salesflarecrm.com, it's going to go to salesflare.com. So that is how you do this process manually. So what you would have to do is what I would recommend doing is like syncing all of your domains and then creating all of the users and then setting up all of your DKM keys, DMARC and all of that stuff. And then attaching it to your tool like SmartLead, InstantLead.ai, um, Apollo, whatever you're using to send emails from. Um, now for me, that's a lot of clicking and I don't like to do that. And so what I've done is I've created this make scenario that does all of this for me. So we, the, here are the manual steps in this workflow. So one, you have to add the uh, domains. You must add the domains to your Microsoft account still manually, but that's pretty easy. You just have to click and just add to GoDaddy and just do all of that. Then you can run this workflow. You do have to create the, oh, actually, no, I wouldn't run this workflow. You need to create the DKIM keys. Uh, I'm so sorry. Actually, you don't. I'm so sorry for everyone in the video. You don't need to create the DKIM keys because we're creating the DKIM keys here. So once you add the domains manually, then you're going to run the workflow and then you can go in and create the users and you can do all of that automatically. Look up like how to do it via CSV. And so you'll see we have all of this set up where we have the domain, we have the DKIM selector, and then we say ready to launch. So the way that this works is like this is adding the DKIM selector. And so if we look at it, see how if it's pulling from verification B, so it's pulling from B over here. And if you look at, oh, whoops. If you look at the DNS records, every time it's selector one dash tryout sales flare dash com dot. It's, there's no dots or anything. So what we did is we just created the same exact thing where now I have get sales flare dash com over here, and now I'm pulling it in selector one, salesflare dash com dot, and then we have all of this stuff, and then we've got it all set up. So this one does selector key one, this one does selector key two, and then there's just a sleep because it's propagated. And then this one does the DMARC settings, and then this one uh, just gets our customer ID, and then this one does the forwarding. So we're, we're all set on these ends. And so if I were to take this and do our next one, so we're just going to do uh, get salesflare.com on this one. So what we could see is if we go to um, our domain portfolio and just put actually what I should have done, quick little hack. If you just change the uh, salesflare. You just change the URL, you can go straight to the, the DNS settings. And so you'll see these DNS settings are completely blank, right? And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to hit go on this. And then it's just going to run and it's going to add everything for me. And so now it's sleeping. I'm going to pause the video to just let it run. Okay. And so now this is, it ran that one uh, column. It went up to 34 here because it was losing its mind with the searches, I guess. So it ran um, that one domain. So now if we go to that domain and we refresh it, notice how everything that we need is completely set up for us inside of the DNS settings. So now what I would then do is I would go, now I have got all my DNS settings set up. You do need to activate the DKM key for some reason. So you do need to like, if we go back, um, we'll go to domains, right? What we didn't do is we, we didn't add the domain. So let's just come in here and we'll add the domain real quick. Right. And so now we're going to finish up the setup because this is going to add the MX records and everything. So now we've got to go to the DKIM. Now we're going to 
activate this DKM key. Cool, so we'll just do a search. Oh, what? Maybe it's not here yet. Uh, hang on. So here it is. Then we'll just pull this and we'll just click on it. And so then we're going to say create DKM keys, but we've already created these. Like they're the same every time. Um, on Google, they're different every time, but for Outlook, they're the same every time. So then we'll create these and then we'll just hit close and then we'll enable them. And so this is a manual step that you're still going to have to do. Uh, let's see here. So this is something that I've seen before and let's just all fix it together. So we just need to make sure that the selector key, we wanna make sure that it's pointing to the exact same thing. So let's go fix this. What did we mess up? So we're gonna do selector key one. I don't see any difference between these. Oh, maybe it's this XWKN52J versus that. Yeah, maybe it's that. So let's hit save. Yeah, maybe I just need to update my, um, uh, because every time you change panels, you need to do this differently. So I think I need to just update my workflow, which is totally fine. We will take care of that. Save. Okay, great. And now we have all of this set up. It might take a couple minutes for this to get authenticated. We'll just hit okay and we'll hit enable. Yeah, it's going to take a couple of minutes for this to get authenticated because we just added it in. But this is basically how you would do all of this. And so this is how you would set up Outlook accounts manually and as automatically as possible. I'm going to take this make flow for everybody and um, I'm going to link it in the sheet. I'm going to download this and I'm going to link it in the sheet and I'll make a copy of our email setup template. And I'll put that into the sheet as well. For anybody watching this video and you want to do something nefarious, I'm deleting all of these domains. So don't, you know, it's not even worth trying anything to do nefarious with this. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video from here.